All right, hello and good morning. Uh, I went to workshop condos today and I saw this thing called Parkour Tower, which sounded really, really fun to show off. Uh, unfortunately, it's not fully clicking with me, but I kind of figured some people might really like it. Um, so I just kind of like wanted to put it in the video. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be cheating a lot at it, just kind of like show like a basic overview of like what this is. I was going to do it like too legit to quit, but uh, just like with how Tower is designed, I just wasn't feeling it. So it suggests you be a basic skeleton. Um, yeah, just be a basic skeleton, no accessories to make all this stuff work. There's a little tutorial area here teaching you very basic things, like how to strafe jump, which is... We'll, we'll get into some of this stuff very soon. Uh, it just kind of like... It's like how like tower handles movement, and it just never feels quite right. So strafing, if you're not familiar with like movement, we'll just kind of go over the three things you need to know in this. Uh, they, they teach you all of it here, too. Strafing is when you run forward... You jump, and as soon as you jump, you let go of forward, and you hold left or right, depending which way you gotta go. And then you also turn the camera that way. It's a really, really tricky jump. This tutorial is probably about, like, the peak of what you could do with strafing in this game. You might be able to get a little bit further, but it's a very tricky jump. Uh, there was a there was a crouch jump there. You jump, you crouch, you get a little bit more height, and then sprinting crouch jump is you sprint. And then when you sprint and you go forward, you crouch jump. And you go through. All right. So now, if you want to actually start this, you're going to climb to the top of this castle here. Which, honestly, not too tough. A little bit of hit, uh, hitbox jank, so you might kind of fall off here and there like that. Uh, that's just kind of tower for you. Let me just kind of bring myself up a bit, but it, it's really nothing too bad. You just kind of climb up the planks, and then you... Oh, I never turned off no clip. Whoops. That would mean uh, I go sliding everywhere. But you just kind of climb up, and you go in. And you have your five levels here. You also got a little hangout room for that, uh, that appeals to you with Barack Obama. Uh, but yeah. Here's the first level. It's like you're an action figure in, like, a little toy room, which is really cool. And once you kind of get here, you kind of realize that, like, Tower's movement system's really not made for this. Um, the level designer has nothing to be ashamed of, by the way. Like, these levels are really, really well designed. Uh, it's just that Tower's movement... Is really, really not made for this. Like, at all. And just, like, doing basic things like jumping on top of this dinosaur here. And then, like, going on these platforms. Is just a really, really big game of just non-stop patience and just hoping. Because eventually you just kind of get launched. And you don't know why. Like, this dinosaur is... Something I hate so much. I can do almost all the other jumps in this room fine. But just like these beginning jumps where you got to go on top of this dinosaur and then you land on this platform and you got to kind of like just kind of strafe across here and go up here. It's, it's tricky. Then just doing like a big old long jump here, no problem. Going from here onto this plane. Uh, if you can get the speed, sure, it's fine. And then you got to go on the door frame and then you got to kind of jump your way to the planes here. I'm only going to be really showing off the full uh, first level and kind of full, but... You get the point. You jump from plane to plane to plane. Nothing, like, too crazy. It's just, again, like, Tower's movement isn't really in tune with doing stuff like this. Like, the hitboxes. It's just, it's just, it never feels right. The second level is like a graveyard, which is kind of cool. If you fall down whatsoever, it teleports you back to the start. Like so. So you gotta kind of do everything perfectly here. You're just going to jump from, like, tombstone to tombstone, and you're going to make it to the dinner table down there and up there. I have not got far in this one yet. I'm not sure, like, how difficult this one actually is. But I assume you're probably going to go from, like, tombstone to this tombstone, probably on top of the cross, onto the skeleton. Probably something like that, and then you just kind of, like, end up towards the end here. Third level. You're in space. And you gotta, like, really, really be ultra careful, because you have very tricky jumps here. Uh, this is, like, where, this is as far, as far as I've seen, but yeah, you gotta do some, uh, pretty nutty jumps. Until you make it to, like, the top of the sun. Now, are these mediums any different? They should be. We're, like, in a bar now, huh? Interesting. I Means we're probably gonna jump on top of the bottles. These are probably like very like precision cuts. You kind of get like uh, you kind of get walled in actually. 
So you probably jump on bottle, top of this, top of this, top of the counter, up the taps, through the door, up, okay. But again, like, really, really cool, like, well-designed stuff. It's just, tower's just not made for it. Alright, this must just be hop across the fish, right? Do we go down here? I don't know. I legit don't know how you're supposed Okay, there we go. You start like that, and then you go... Boop. Boop. Okay. And go across all the fish. Until you get to the end. Okay, cool. But that's Parkour Tower. Um, like, again, yeah, like, really, really cool levels. Um, if you're, like, into parkour stuff and, like, you don't mind, like, some mindless frustration, it's kind of, like, worth checking out. Me, personally, like, I can probably do it if I really just kind of sat down and tried, but, uh, Tower's movement for me plus this is, like, a big no for me. So I'm just gonna kind of, like, go buy it not do it. But if you're in, I'll give it a thumbs up. But if you want to do it, let me bring it up on screen again. What was it called? I think it's just called Parkour Tower 5 Levels or something. It's like in the, it's like in the, uh, like top rated right now. Not too far down, I don't think. Yeah, here it is. It's Parkour Tower 5 Decorated Levels by Internet Jerk. Uh, but let's, let's go into like the plaza, see what's going on. And kind of work, for, work our way from there this episode. But yeah, that was like the highlight of stuff I saw in the workshop condos today. But man, it's just a shame. Like, I just... Ugh, I just bounce off of so much stuff in this game. Like, I like 3D platforming and stuff like that. Like, I, I adore stuff like that. But it just never works well for me. And I'll probably be called very bad. But, you know, it is what it is. Let's put my penguin back on. Where's my scuffed penguin? There you are. It doesn't really feel like I'm actually playing this game unless I'm a, my penguin. Let me also get my accessories back on because I miss them. Let's get my witch hat on. Should I actually... I kind of want the, um... Soda hat on. Or the box. Nah, soda hat. We'll do soda hat again. It's been a bit. I want my 3D glasses. I want my kick me sign. I want my duck too. Wait, what's my devil tail look like? Eh. I'm good on that. I just kind of, I kind of want the duck. Is there anything better than... Oh! I want the eagle too. This needs to be the thing. Perfect. Uh, neck. I have nothing for the neck. I kind of tempted by this bow tie. Let's get the bow tie on. And waist. Or wrist, rather. Flower wristband, why not? Let's just get all kinds of decked out, dude. And let's get a Christmas extravaganza. Perfect. Now I'm looking good. I'm ready for the town. Excellent. Today is Sunday. Today is the third. It's a Wednesday. Ooh, maybe the arcade has like some low enough scores for me to uh, kind of like snipe the other uh, top score of the week for a little bit. Let's see. You know I always gotta check stack them. That's what I do. I love me stack them, just like I love me uh, my Gatorade. How's that for a segue? I ordered like a 24 pack of Gatorade on Amazon for like 12 bucks or something. And it has been treating me very well. I feel very electrolyted. Feels good. 401 is the number 10 score. Let's see if we can get it. I'm not going to try too long. Like one or two attempts. I can't be bothered to try for too, too long because I feel like of the, what is it, like 126 videos now in the series, I've probably spent like five hours of my life doing stack them in them, which is no bueno, as much as I love it. We'll see. We'll see if we can bang out a quick 400. Probably not. I haven't played in a little bit, so I'm probably going to get like 250 or something. I'll screw it all up in level 3. We'll see. So far, so good. Not bad. Damn. 
Yep. Screwed all up in level three. <laughs> Freaking called that. <clears throat> but yeah, okay, what are we looking at? Like in us I, I doubt I'll get super hoopers. I can like max out ninety, yeah, no. Okie dokie. That's fair enough. What else we kinda got going on in the plaza right now? Not much, because I joined like a very like, you know, empty one at the moment. It just felt right joining the empty one. Because I kind of like wanted to check the game worlds as well. I really don't feel like doing typing derby. Honestly, I don't even know why I came to the plaza. Because I don't know if plaza is like really the play right now for me. Uh, I might as well check the jackpots in the casino. I almost never do that on video. Maybe we'll have like one that's kind of close to popping. I'll give it like a few attempts. The old money's at 60k. All these are likely... This is paid out, right? Yeah, that one's paid out. Yeah, all these are basically paid out at this point. 3,000, 4,000, 3,000, 4,000. This dude's been triple diamonding. <laughs> Probably non-stop if it's that high up. You know, let's just let's give like Wheel of Money one spin really quick. Why not? What's the worst that could happen if I give Wheel of Money two spins, you know? Probably nothing bad will happen to me. Like I said, three spins, no issue. It's only three. Say, three's not a big deal. Easy 150, dude. How can I go out on that note? We might as well try and, you know, do like five spins here. This is how gambling addiction starts, by the way. This is why I don't go to casinos anymore. Because this is legit how I treat casinos. So I haven't gone like in ten years, probably. Close to it. Maybe not ten. Seven years? Eight years? Six? I forget how long it's been since I've gone to casino, honestly. It's been a hot minute, though. Like a really, really hot minute. I honestly just wanted to spin. Can you can you believe if I just want to spin once on the Wheel of Money? I wanted to kill this gag a little bit ago. But here I am. So anyone uh, watching this video play any cool games lately? Because I've been going through the Parasite Eve trilogy. I finished up Parasite Eve 2 two days ago, which I despised. First game was great, and I started up the third birthday on PSP, which is like the spiritual third game. With like all the same characters and all that. Uh, I started that earlier, and I always thought it was like the worst one. And uh, don't tell people, because I'll lose credibility, but it might be my favorite. I'm like halfway through, and I'm freaking in love with this game. It is such a fun, like, just third-person shooter RPG hybrid that has, like, the characters from Parasite Eve and just really good level design. Like, I, I love it. I really, 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 truly, honestly, like, love it. Alright, what are we getting? Ten! Easy. I'll take the Tide Dillinger. Thank you very much. And I'm stuck on the machine. I'm not allowed to leave it. <laughs> That's okay. I'll just disconnect. Alright. Let's see. Uh, anyone playing Virus? Nope. Anyone doing Crusaders? Ooh, it's over. Accelerate? No? That's yeah, fine. Make a public wishy-washy waterfall. I kind of like wanted to play on it again because I've only done it like a few times. I'm still, like, very low, like, in, like, XP on, uh, Accelerate. I've barely played. I keep meaning to, like, play it more and more and more, and it just never happens. Alright. Ready, set, go! Yeah, let's give this, uh, let's give this mode, like, another shot really quick. Had to, like, remember how to play. They also kind of, like, rebalanced the drifts and stuff against the last time I played as well. Because they updated them, and then they updated them again. I haven't played since then, I don't think. Yeah, I'm very rusty at this. Ugh. I can't remember, like, I can't, like, even remember if, like, any of these shortcuts, like, were worth doing. I feel like I kind of, like, deemed that, like, a lot of them were just kind of, like, actually long cuts, but I can't remember anymore.
I even waited for that like my part time for like um laps even work. I think I was even for like a for like a 40 second lap or something. I think I got it too. better though and that felt like a much better lap to me I guess not Let's see if I can redeem this and get like an even better lap here because I, I definitely think like yeah maybe we'll get like a 41 it's like Maybe not. That was a really bad slowdown. Here we're 42. At least I gotta do one more run as well. My drifting is not on point though. Be like the worst lap I've had since lap one, I feel like. This is aimed to be like a 45 again. Or 43, cool. Global rank 124 off of that? Really? Damn, that felt terrible too. I'll take it, but that felt like a terrible run. Maybe just like, maybe like people really haven't played Wishy Washy Waterfall yet. But like even top 1,000 surprised me. Never mind, like almost top 100 there. I was crashing into everything. There we go. Now I'm pretty curious, like what the um, top time in this is. Second, I think. I can usually tell by the time I get like, the last checkpoint like my lap time is gonna be. I think it's just gonna come down to getting like a lot of the golden mushrooms. These single mushrooms just ain't gonna cut it. Watermelons rather, not mushrooms. Who uses mushrooms for speed? What kind of cart rates would ever do that? single there because then we have like uh items so close again That was some good speed, dude.
low rank 66. I'm curious like what the best time is now. I'm surprised I got that high up because none of that felt like that great. The top has to be what, like probably like 239 then? 230, 241? It's like... What is the top time, dude? Accelerate. Leaderboards. Wishy washy waterfall. How does someone get 217? What? If I want to be no top 50, though, I need 248. I'd have to cut three seconds off of what I just did. Ugh. Let's try it one more time. I'm not going to do both runs. I'll just do one run. And just see if I can do it. Uh, I'm probably going to call it a video, but let's do, let's do it like one more shot. I was aiming for a 248 total. So that's probably get, what, like, 42 second laps every time? 42, 43 at the most? I can't really afford to get, like, a 44. Ready, set, go! We shall see. I was going to be very hyper aware, too. I have like my non-stop drifting status and all that. It's like the last turn before that final checkpoint is the most brutal one. Makes it very tricky. This one here. If I can drift boost through, we're okay like that. I think we're screwed. If we got a 44, I think we're screwed. We'll see though, maybe not. Maybe we'll be like, you know, an absolute prodigy. Just this turn up here just feels so slow. I get like a 41, I think I've only got like 141 so far. Guess we shall see. See that eye of focus, dude? I don't think I'm even going to beat my last time. Although, I, I, at the same time, too, I also feel like I'm getting this, like, really clean now. Uh, but it also kind of feels down to, like, how many golden melons you get. Which I have not been getting anywhere near enough. All that bumping, yeah, it's over. Rip the dream. Yeah, I'm like seven seconds behind what I need. Hmm. But I feel like if I just practice that enough and I get like just like the right amount of like the golden melon pickups, top 50 should be possible right now. I could definitely see myself getting down to like probably like 245, 243 if I kind of get stuff perfect. Maybe. If I get, like, more consistent. But I think I'm gonna call it there. Uh, that condo was really cool. I just wish I could, like, enjoy, you know, like, the, uh, the parkour a bit more. Uh, I played the stack on my screwed all up on level 3. Don't, don't even know, like, why I went to Plaza. And I got some wishy-washy waterfall practice in. So, you know what? I'm content with that little session. So, thank you all very much for watching. I'll catch you guys again next video. Y'all have a good one. Toodles, y'all.